Seventh graders, in lesson six nine, we're going to talk about how to find the markup or the selling price. And we're going to pretend that you guys own a company. You guys own a store, for example. Okay? Let's say it's a shoe store. Alright? Now, if you were to own a shoe store, but you didn't make the shoes yourselves, then you're acting as like an in-between store that buys from the manufacturer and then sells it to the consumer. All right? The, the amount that you pay for the shoes is called the cost. Maybe it's the cost to produce it, or it's the cost if you buy it from the manufacturer. All right? Then, there's another amount that's called the selling price. And the difference between the cost and the selling price is the profit that you make. It's also called the markup. It's the amount that you are raising the price so that when you sell it to the consumer, you're making a profit. Okay? Now, there's all kinds of things that also go into the cost. You have to, for example, if you own a store, you have to pay rent unless you own the building. But most stores have a lease, which means that they don't own the building, they just pay an amount each month to use the building. And there's other costs, like electricity, like workers, like um, security, and all these kinds of things that go into the cost of owning a business. And then selling price um, is the amount that they charge the consumer, but if the product doesn't sell for that, then they might have to discount the price in order to move the merchandise. So we're going to talk about discounts also. Okay? Now, the basic model then for this is the cost is an amount, let's say that the cost that you buy the shoes for is $25, okay? And then, the, um, you decide to mark up the, the shoes by 75%. Now, 75% does not mean $75, it means 75% of the 25, okay? So, you could consider this to be 100% plus 75%. And so there's two ways that you can find this markup amount. You could either find 75% of 25, which is like the part equals the percent times the total. Remember when we did that? The part equals the percent times the total. So if we change 75% to a decimal, everybody look up here. I don't feel like I got your attention here. So what is 75% as a decimal? 0.75, right. So if you do 0.75 times 25, what do you get? 18.75. All right? So that is the markup amount, isn't it? Oops. And then you add your 25%. Add the cost plus the markup amount. And then that equals the selling price. How much would that be? $43.75. Okay. Now, there's another way to find 43.75. There's another method. And that is to multiply the cost times 100% plus 75%. What's 100% plus 75%? Yeah. 
That's 175%, isn't it? So if we multiplied the cost times 175%, that also gives us the selling price. Now, 175% as a decimal is what number? 1.75. So is like if you don't need to find the markup amount, if you just need to find the selling price, then you can put a 1 or a 100% in front of 75% and then multiply it by the cost. Okay? Let's go to your worksheet. Practice this. On the side, you're going to make a model. So right here is where you're going to put the models. And you're going to have to do this when you take the test as well. It's just a simple model that shows the cost plus the markup amount equals the selling price. So, the cost of this first one is 17. And then, the markup is 50%. How would you find 50%? Or how would you find the selling price if it's a 50% markup? There's two ways you can use 100% plus 50%, which is what decimal? 150% or 1%. 0.5 would give us the selling price, or we could find 50% of 17. What's 50% of 17? 0.5 times 17 on your calculators. So we have it. Aiden, 8.5. $8.50. So what is the selling price then? Yep, $25.50. And so you can write that into the selling price. So the cost plus the markup amount is equal to the selling price. Is everybody following this? Yeah. You can see it with the model. The cost plus the markup amount is 150% of the cost. Okay, let's do number two. The cost is $48. The markup is 70%. So, 100% plus 70% would give us, the selling price is 170% of the cost. So, you could multiply the cost times 1.7. What is that? Selling price is 81.6. What does that mean? Okay. 81.6. How do you say that? Good, $81.60. Yep. Right. Let's go down 
to the sale price then? Okay. Does everyone know how to find the selling price now? No. Is everyone comfortable with finding the selling price? You can either find the percent of the cost and then add it, or you can find the total percent of the cost and multiply it. Questions on this? So for the first one, we use 150%, which would be 1.5 times 17. For the second one, it's 170%, so we use 1.7 times 48. Any questions? Andrew. So I, I just did number for you just to see if I got it, but I don't know if I okay. read because it's a pretty big number. Well, what is it? I got 9,000. $350. Well, did you use the decimal form? Yes. What if you take up more space? Hmm. Let's try this. Number three. 110 is the cost. Fine. Or we add it, we have to add 85%. Oh, you know, I didn't do it right. So 100% plus 85% will equal the selling price. Which would be 1.85 as a decimal times the cost, 110. What is it? Good, 203 dollars and 50 cents. Okay. Okay. Now, the other thing you have to be able to find is the sale price. These are much more fun. Okay. The sale price is the amount that you're going to pay if there's a percentage off. Okay, you guys love to shop, don't you? No. no. Well, look at sales. Sure. Sales when you're shopping. shopping. All right. So let's say that we have. Let's do this. So for modeling discount or modeling the sale price, you have an amount that is the original price. So we would draw a model for the original price, draw a box. And then take an amount off. So for example, if the original price is $19, and it's on sale for 25% off, now you're going to take off 25%. Let's not put the 19 in the middle of it. Let's put the whole thing as $19. Then take 25% off, right? What's the remaining percent then? 75% .75 of the original price. So again, there's two ways to find this answer. We can either find the amount off and then subtract it, or we can just find 75% of the original price, 75% of 19, which is what we've been doing with finding percents of numbers, haven't we? You can even put this in a proportion if you wanted to. So if the original price is 19, oops, and that's 100%, then 
is the part. The part is the discount. The discounted price. I can spell it, right? So what is 75% of 19? $14.25. How would you find the amount off? The amount that you're saving? Just subtract it. Yeah, the discount price is equal to the regular price minus the sale price. So how, what is the amount that you're saving then? No, that's the price that you would be paying. That's the discounted price. That's the sale price. Right? $14.25. But if the original price was $19, and you're paying only $14.25, then how much are you saving? How much off is it? Kaden? $4.75. $4.75. Okay. So, this is how you model the discount. Let's go back to your worksheet. There we go. So, now we have an original price box, which is going to be, let's use a bigger box so that we have room. $19, 25% off, 75% remaining. So it was $14.25 and $4.75. The sale price is the remaining percent, isn't it? So what is the sale price on this one, Melina? $14.25. How would we model number seven? Come on, people. Let's get this done. Kaden? Good. And then you put the 15% off. That means it's 85%. Yep. 85% left? That's how much you're paying, right? So you can find 85% of the $136. Questions on that? Any questions on this? Do this last one. What is 85%? What is the sale price then? That one? $114.75. What's now with the books though? Did you guys get something? Is that what you got? $115.60? That's what the book is. Maybe you just hit a, a wrong number accidentally. 136 times 0. 0.85. 85% is 0. 0.85 as a decimal, isn't it? So 0. 0.85 times 136. 115 dollars and 60 cents. Okay. Any other questions?